So this is a little bit of a different video from what I normally put out, and it's kind of a follow-up to some other videos that I've made, or I guess one other video in which a follow-up's been requested. I don't entirely know where the series is going to go, but for those who wanted to know where my programming noob uh, vlogs and videos were where they were going to go, I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, for my learning and experience, I have been playing around with Auto Hotkey as kind of inspired by Taryn from Linus Tech Tips. Uh, he's been helping out via his own work with my Premiere Mod scripts, but I put together a kind of compilation script of some Windows mods that I use to make my Windows experience a little bit better. And this is all written in the Auto Hotkey format. So you will need Auto Hotkey installed and then this will run. I have these scripts stored in just a Windows Mods folder in my Documents folder. I originally had them as separate scripts, but I'm co I've compiled them into a cohesive single script. And then I just posted a shortcut in my startup folder. And then the script automatically starts up. And then I have the no tray icon option set. So that way it doesn't take up system tray space. So the tools that I have available is that when Windows Explorer is running, Control Z does not work. If I press it, just makes a big loud beep. And that is intentional because I have had a lot of issues and this was specifically when I first moved into my first apartment. I actually lost moving vlog footage because I had copied it over from an SD card to my documents folder, renamed something, and when I hit control Z, instead of undoing the rename, it undid the copy. Well, it was a cut, it was a move off the SD card. And the footage was gone. It was unrecoverable off the SD card and Windows just erased it out of nowhere. So immediately I looked for a solution to get rid of Control Z. So now I can no longer press that on Windows Explorer, which makes my life easier. So that's what this first chunk of code does. Uh, I have a whole video dedicated to that from where I had originally made it. The next one adds in a little bit of some functionality that I have in Linux and Ubuntu in that I get really annoyed with having to go through the menu options, especially when I have a lot of this hidden, to enable hidden folders and file extensions. So I wrote out a mod that when you press Windows H, the Windows key plus H, it hides or shows hidden folders. You can see like the app data folder and the Eclipse data folder here. If I hit Windows H, it, it, it ticks the hide file name or hide hidden items extension. Which, by the way, I usually don't have this ribbon enabled. I have a mod that gets rid of this ribbon as part of a separate video that I'm uploading soon. So normally the checkbox isn't that handy, but this will work in just about any Windows, modern Windows version. So it ticks that checkbox and then refreshes Explorer to either show it or hide it. The same thing with Windows Y. It does that for file extensions. You can see .iso, .iso goes away, .iso. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy and makes my life a little bit easier for some keyboard shortcuts. Save some time clicking as well. This one's a little silly. These are all work in progress. I will be updating these on my uh, GitHub page here. I do have a GitHub and I just uploaded the repository for the Windows mods. So I will have to check that. Uh, let's get rid of insert fix. All right, so on my GitHub, I have a lot of stuff I've been working on, including my branch of the Premiere macros. Uh, but under Windows mods here, I have the full script but I'll be up updating it over time. Currently, I have it set to where if I hit Alt-3, it maximizes a window. I don't have a toggle for this, so it, I can't hit it again, nothing happens. Um, it just maximizes it at once. A little bit handy, still trying to figure out the toggle, haven't gotten there yet. This next one uh, replaces Insert with Control-V. I've never once in my entire life used the Insert key the way that it was originally intended to like overwrite text, and anytime I accidentally hit it, it drives me nuts. So why not make it to where if I copy that and hit insert, it pays. Obviously control V is memorized into my brain more so than anything else, but having that one button in case my finger's already up there makes my life a little bit easier. This next one was a little more complicated. This actually replaces the pause break button, another button on the keyboard that I've never actually used in my entire life or anything that it was meant for. So this replaces the pause break button and you may sort of have to recode this if it doesn't work on your keyboard. Sometimes the pause or break button uh, comes in as a different button. You'll have to look at Auto Hotkey's site for the keys to, or the key documentation to see what the other options are. But for me, this one works. And what it does is it sends Alt Print Screen, which takes the window screenshot, pastes it into MS Paint, and saves it to the desktop and allows you to type in a name and hit enter. 
I use a program called LightShot, which allows me to take screenshots and do whatever with them. But if I real quick am sending a window based screenshot to a person, all I gotta do is hit pause, opens it up, pastes it, saves it, and then I can name it whatever and already have the screenshot ready. Now you have to do a little bit of preparation for this because by default in paint, oh yeah, and it, it automatically closes paint once you hit save, which is convenient, but not when I'm trying to show you this. So by default with paint, your image size is like super big. So then if I paste in a screenshot that is smaller than this, you have a bunch of extra white space that it's saving. So what I ended up going in and doing, which now I just screwed up, but is creating an image size of 50 by 50, or I'll just make it really small like that. So that way, no matter what, it's guaranteed that anything I paste in here is going to be bigger than this because you can't set like a default resolution in paint. It's not that complex of a program. It just loads whatever the last, you know, whatever it was last time you used it. So if I set it like this and then close it, whenever I hit pause and good, that, that's what size that was. That way you don't end up with any extra white space. And then it, even when you save and close this, it's still that smaller size. So you, you got to do a little extra preparation work the first time before you start using this, but then it's come in a little handy for me. Another one replaces the caps lock entirely. I, I don't use it a whole lot. I, I may disable this if I come to miss it, but I kind of liked on my Chromebook how the caps lock button was actually a search button. So now if I highlight text and hit caps lock, it Google searches that text. Pretty cool. I, I, I like it and it's quicker even in Chrome than like right clicking and going to search this text. And then when I try to do something else again with it, I realize it hasn't actually copied it to the clipboard. This actually copies it to the clipboard. It's kind of handy. And again, you can piece together which ones of these you want from my GitHub. Lastly, I just forcefully enabled control V to work in the command prompt. Obviously, if you're doing something in which control V does not involve pasting, this kind of breaks that. For the most part, that's not the case for me. Now with Windows 10's command prompt, you can actually, wow, mine, my colors got reset. That sucks. Uh, you can actually edit some preferences for it now and stuff. It's got a decent amount of customization, which is, which is nice. Uh, but if you're on a different Windows version or just don't want to deal with the command prompt options and just want to force it, then you can do it that way. So that's all the code that I've gathered here in my current draft of the Windows mod script. Again, I will be adding to this as I find other things that I wish to do. These are fairly basic, but things that just save me a little bit of time that aren't totally stolen from someone else. So I've uploaded it here in the GitHub. You can go here and go to raw, not blame. I don't even know what blame is. Go to raw, copy paste it into your notepad file, save it as .hk. If you have auto hotkey installed, it, just double click it, it'll run it, add it to your startup, yada yada. Download link in the description below. Let me know what you think about it or if you have any suggestions of similar things that I might want to try out auto hotkey, auto hotkey scripts wise. And if you end up using it and finding it useful, let me know in the comment section down below as well. That would be interesting to see. Otherwise, I'm Eples Fox. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Get subscribed for more tech videos, and I'll see you next time.